Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more high speed trains. The project involves four train sets. Got the AGV575 over there. Got the ETR400. The ETR500. And this one the working title of this at the moment is the H440 and of course that is or was the Hornby Junior. So I'll start with the AGV. If you saw the last video I done on this one you remember I made an extra passenger car that is this one here. Just there is the Milliput repair that I've left unpainted so you can see that where I spliced these two undercarriage pieces together and that is working really really well no problem at all it looks good it's exactly the right size and I'm very happy with that now on to wheels it was a decision between uh, KD or Chinese. Now I went for the KD but I had a problem with the AGV bogies they don't work they're too tight and they will not turn that's it so I can't use them with this set. Now the wheels themselves are really nice but they have a very very small flange tiny so because they didn't fit uh, and they had those tiny flanges now I know that this is more realistic but uh, I just want reliability so I went for the Chinese They are. Let's have a look here. They're really nice wheels. They have a quite a large flange on them. They're insulated, and they're really nice. So I've decided to go with these for the project. In all honesty, the action of these plastic wheels on this AGV is fine I don't really think I need to change the wheels all I will do is use metal wheels for the pickup bogies I'll just show you look this is that's with the KD wheels and this is with the Chinese wheels absolutely perfect almost frictionless on the subject of track power this is one of the driving units of the AGV with the lid off and my quick um, plastic connectors so I've cut the power away from the the battery and I did make a a pickup bogey um, but it was just a test to see if I could get the power from the track into the motor. So I'll show you that now. A couple of pickups in there. And I've just tacked them on with some solder. Just tacked a couple of wires on. Now I had some thin copper laying around and that's what I used to make a really a very simple pair of pickups. I couldn't find the brass in the thickness that I needed with which to make the pickups but it was a case of keep looking and you'll find something so I found these on eBay if you can 
see in there that is a bag of brand new unused pickups they are UF which is part of the Hornby International they're very anyway. good quality pickups so I'll be able to use them to make the pickups for all of these trains I've also got a couple of rolls of wire as well on to the new colour scheme for the AGV I want to have a kind of uh, not a gloss finish but I don't want matte so satin was the one to go with I've been experimenting with that and I'll show you in a minute for the silver I picked up this another acrylic um, from Hobbycraft this was a fiver it's a nice big can 400 mil um, but if you look at the top that's the an indication of the color now I'll show you what I mean I've just reconditioned two iron coffee tables with silver spray now that is the cap from those sprays they are not that shiny and bright but it gives you an indication of the kind of paint that you're going to get now, inside this however is an auto spray and this is for use with cellulose paints now you may or you may not know but with these cans cellulose and acrylics can have a reaction you have to be careful um, about which sprays you use to undercut so I wanted to test that so here's the front end that I cut away the AGV and that has the silver and the satin black on there with the grey cellulose primer and as you can see the finish is absolutely beautiful now don't worry about some of the uh, overspray on here I did this the wrong way around I done the silver then I masked it off and done the black I should have done the black first but I was just doing this to check the silver so that will give you an indication of how the machine will look when I sprayed it the cellulose undercoat, the primer, is very very thin so it doesn't obscure any fine detail this humbrol would be a little bit too heavy I think for this Alstom or LE models has thrown me another curveball in the way that Hornby did with this one but it's actually a really really good curveball and it solves a big problem that I've had now I'm going to do a spot the difference with you now I'm going to show you a photo of the 001 the Pegasus and then a photo of this okay see if you can spot the difference that's right the pantographs now on the Pegasus the pantograph is on the driving unit itself one of the problems I've had with this is that because this is sold as a set with these generic coaches everyone has a pantograph and that's bothered me because I didn't really want to run it like that but what that means is that I need to remove this there's a good clear panel line there and a nice one there and I should be able to carefully remove that with the scalpel so I need to take two of them off and transplant them on to this section I was hoping for a panel line that lines up but uh, unfortunately 
there are and no. it means that the flat piece that I take out goes back onto the coach onto the car so that gives me two clean roofs which is great I can have the one on there one on there the same thing at the other end and then two in the middle with pantographs on and that will look much more realistic you're not supposed to be on there that's daddy's stuff come on <laughs> <laughs>